The men's tournament and the women's tournament, the first two tennis competitions in U.S. Open history, served as the foundation for today's championships. The inaugural men's tournament match in the history of the U.S. Open tennis took place at the Newport Casino in the year 1881, specifically in August of the same year. Only members would be qualified to compete in the championship, which was recognized as the U.S. National Singles Championship for men. The U.S. Women's National Singles Championship was first held at the Philadelphia Cricket Club in 1887. The U.S. Women's National Doubles Championship and the U.S. Mixed Doubles Championship were held in 1889, two years later. The first U.S. Open Championships got underway in 1968, and for the first time in history and at the previous competitions, professionals were allowed to play. The U.S. Open Championships were previously held on grass before switching to clay in 1975. The U.S. Open started using hard courts in 1978, and it continues to do so now. This was another surface modification. Richard Dick Sears formed the United States National Lawn Tennis Association, USNLTA, in 1881 the same year that the first U.S. championships were held, and that year saw the introduction of the national championship. The national championship, which preceded the U.S. Open, was solely open to citizens of the United States. The national championship was held in the Newport Casino in Rhode Island, and the first champion was Dick Sears, better in the finals of William Glynn with 6-0, 6-3, 6-2. Ellen Hansel introduced women in 1887, Philadelphia Cricket Club hosted the debut of the U.S. Women's National Singles Championship. Ellen Ford, Hansel Alderese was the first woman to win the title. She defeated Laura Knight in the final 6-1, 6-Nuo. Dick Sears earned his seventh and final championship at the U.S. National Championships in a row. 1888, Bertha Townsend, mixed doubles introduced Bertha Townsend defeated Ellen Hansel in the finals with a score of 6-3, 6-5 to win her first championship. Her first of two victories at the National Women's Championship was that one. The inaugural U.S. National Mixed Double Champions were M. Wright and J.S. Clark. Women's doubles were first played in 1889, and the first U.S. National Women's Doubles Champions were Margaret Ballard and Bertha Townsend. The first international champion of the men's singles national championship was Lawrence Doherty of Great Britain in 1903. 1911 William Larned William Larned of the United States won the title for a record-breaking seventh time. With 6 ta 4 6 ta 4 6 ta 2 he defeated Maurice McLaughlin in the end. Elizabeth Mallory of Norway won her eighth U.S. National Championship title in 1926. In the finals, she defeated Elizabeth Ryan with a score of 4-6, 6-4, 9-7. Bill Tilden won his seventh singles championship at the U.S. National Championships in 1929. Bill Tilden is also referred to as Big Bill and is a famous figure in U.S. Open tennis history. 1931, Helen Wills Moody. In the finals against Eileen Bennett, Whittingstall, Helen Wills Motti of the United States won her seventh U.S. National Championship. A wonderful piece of history, she also won four French Open crowns and eight Wimbledon titles throughout her career. 1968, Open Era, all five events held in single location. Since the men's singles competitions start in Newport, the five main U.S. Open competitions have been held at nine different venues. When the women's doubles competition was transferred to the Westside Tennis Club in Forest Hills, New York, all five of them came together at last. Professionals were finally allowed to compete in the U.S. Open Championships. 1975, change of surface, clay. From 1975, clay has replaced grass as the new surface for the U.S. Open. All five U.S. Open competitions were relocated to the current venue of the U.S. Open. The USTA Billie Jean King National Tennis Center in Flushing, New York in 1978. U.S. Open tennis history entered a new chapter when it was moved to a new venue and switched to a hard court surface. At the age of 16, Tracy Austin defeats four-time defending winner Chris Everett Lloyd in the U.S. Open finals to become the event's youngest champion. 
1982, Chris Everett. Chris Everett won the women's singles title for a record sixth time by defeating Hanna Mandlikova 6-3, 6-1 in the championship match. Jimmy Connors defeated Ivan Lendl in the 1983 U.S. Open Tennis Championship Finals with a score of 6-3, 6-7, 7-5, 6-0. This was Connors' eighth and final Grand Slam victory. 1990 PTA Sampras. At the age of just 19 and 28 days, he wins the U.S. Open men's singles title, defeating Andre Agassi 6-4, 6-3, Andre Agassi won the U.S. Open men's singles championship in 1994, becoming the first unseeded player to do so during the U.S. Open era. 1998, Lindsay Davenport. By defeating Martina Hingis in the championship match, Lindsay Davenport wins the U.S. Open women's singles title for the first time in 16 years. 